So let's open up this. MacBook Pro A1502. All right. Let's see. Using a Pentalobe 1.2 or P5 screwdriver. Keep all the screws in order, flat side down. In the pattern we remove them. These two screws are shorter than all the rest. Go ahead and continue moving. So the screen's not coming up. I was told there might be some liquid damage inside, so let's see. Okay, pop that open. All right, a little dusty. Let's see, let's disconnect the battery first. holding the power button about 15 seconds to make it safer to work on. So I think the battery is already dead, so probably not a big deal. And these pins might be burnt back here. So they look a little bit discolored. The pins on the connector itself look okay. Might be backlight circuit damaged. I think the the pins on there. The last three pins look kind of discolored and damaged. They look connected though, so let's go ahead and try reconnecting this. All right, let's push the battery back in. Let's put this on and let's see if it's gonna power up when I plug it in. Try a SMC reset. It's powering on. PRAM reset. I actually see the screen is black here, or it's lighting up, so it might be okay. It's working. Okay, so I'm gonna clean out the dust, and that's pretty much it. So, looks like that worked. like we're good to go let's let it sit a bit longer and then we're just going to clean out the dust make sure it's actually booting up it's taking a while to boot but it looks like it's working there we go all right so it did boot up i think we're good battery's super super low so i'm gonna have to charge it a bit um let me shut it down i'm gonna clean out the dust and i'll be back Make sure the screen goes off. I can actually see it's somewhat lit. It's hard to see um, with light, but there you go. All right, let's unplug this. Okay, I'll clean out the dust and I'll be back. All right, so we're back. Dust all cleaned out. Okay, battery. After cleaning it, let's see here. So oh, you can actually see the pins are separate, so it looks okay. Yeah, the pins, I think they're okay. I think what happened was something, some liquid got in there, and luckily it wasn't enough to burn those pins. But let's see. Put it all back in. Oops. Okay, cleaned out the dust. Put the cover back on. Let it charge up some more. Okay, this way. 
All right, let's do a SMC PRAM reset. Oh, it's already powering itself on. I don't want that. So I'm holding the option key. And I actually see the screen, so it's good. Option shift, let's do an SMC reset. Right now the light's orange here. If I push uh, control option shift on the left and the power button goes to green, then back to orange. That's how I know it's working right. Let's power it up. PRAM reset, command option P and R. The screen should shut off after it finishes booting and then it should power cycle again. There we go, PRAM reset completed properly. We'll let it boot up. It should be good. I'll probably dust out the keyboard as well, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have to put back the rest of the screws. It looks like it's good to go. Come on. Looks like we're good. The trackpad, um, the click feeling isn't really there. I don't know if that's a battery issue, so let me check. Sometimes the battery's like inflated. It is making the click sound, but the feeling is not very, not very clicky. So, all right, so let's shut it down. I mean, it clicks okay, so that's fine. I'll shut it off. We'll let it charge a bit more. Okay, this one's a physical clicking button, so it could be I can just readjust this screw here and hopefully that'll fix it because this doesn't look that inflated or anything. So let's see here. I think that's a larger size torque screw. Is that like a T7? No. I think it's a T6. All right, so let's switch to the T6 Torx 6 screw. I'm gonna undo this screw. Wow, that screw's super tight. Okay, there you go. I put a lot of thread locker in there. So I'm just um, loosening and tightening this T6 screw. Okay, I'm loosening it. And it's getting better. Okay, it feels a lot better now. So, I don't know why that T6 screw was so um, tight. It should have been loosened a bit. Somebody over tightened it. Maybe from factory or I don't know what. Okay, let me flip this back over. Again, I had to use a T6 or Torx 6 screwdriver to fix that. Let's flip this over again and let's see. Oh yeah, that feels better. Feels a lot better. Let me make sure that it actually works. And then we're just gonna put back the remaining screws. Okay, so. Let's let it boot up. Yeah, it's much better now. It's taking a while to boot up. Hey, Venus. Okay, looks good. All right, and then we're just gonna shut it down. Good. All right, it's shutting down. Let's go ahead and put back the screws. That's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helps some people. I don't know how lucky how many people will be lucky where their connector there just came loose or had some like s like slight short there. Usually those pins, um, if liquid gets to it, it completely burns off. But luckily on this MacBook, um, the pins just got like shorted just enough that it wouldn't light up or the screen wouldn't come on. All right, so let's go ahead and put back all the screws. This was just a quick video, not really much explanation. Customers waiting for me to hand it back to them. So I don't know if this video will be helpful. Anyways, if hopefully it did help. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Helped you if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right.
let's drop this. All right, bye.